is your mind, body, spirit, Wheaties. After dealing with whatever you've gone through for the weekend, you come here on Monday morning and I am here to give you your golden nuggets of inspiration, encouragement, support, whatever it is you're going to need to make it through this day. I love Mondays. I love every day. I love you. Um, how was your weekend? Thank you for my hearts. How was your weekend? My weekend was simply fabulous. I have absolutely no complaints. Um, one of the best weekends actually I've had in a while. And yesterday what I did, absolutely nothing. Um, I say that I went to the park, but I didn't even get out of the bed to like three o'clock. And so shame on me, but it's okay. Life happens. Um, yeah, so it's me, Crystal Shea, Monday morning. Good morning, Veggie Maid. I miss you. I haven't seen you in so long. Um, but yeah, how was your weekend? Great weekend? I hope you had a great weekend. Um, so what, I'm, what I want to talk about this morning, today, is there's so much going on. Thanks for the hearts. There's so much going on. Everybody has so much going on. We just came out of a, the Pisces Aquarius moon phase. It was intense for all of you who are into that. Yeah. So um, now we're starting to transition into newness, into spring, whatever the groundhog was supposed to see or not see for the shadow for spring to show up early. I feel like spring has sprung. It is here and things are blooming. Life is blooming. Businesses are blooming. Relationships are blooming. Everything is blooming now. This is your season. And there are some things that could potentially, that you don't know, that could be keeping you from getting where you need to be in this season, your season, right? 2017 is your year. 2016, you probably made that same declaration, proclamation, but 2017 is it, guys. It's it. And um, I want to talk about five secrets for manifesting your dreams. We're dreaming. You got big things ahead of you. You got big plans. There are things that you want to do for your family, for your finances, for relationships, for careers, for businesses, for, yeah, everything. Hmm. And a lot of us are sabotaging our own successes. One of the secrets to manifesting your dreams, oddly enough, is going to be something you're going to say, ah, oh, I cannot believe this is the advice she's giving me early on a Monday morning after the weekend I had. Sleep. You had a dream. In order to help fulfill that dream, in order to help that dream come to pass, you're going to need to take your ass to bed. You're going to need to lay down and allow the beta waves in the brain to calm themselves down and get to a point where you are in alpha, where the subconscious can fill itself up with the things that you have given it, relax, restore, and go to sleep. Secret number one. People think that's overrated. You're looking for something magical, right? Let me give you something magical. You dream it, then you got to believe in what it is that you're dreaming. You have to believe in what it is that you want. You can't let somebody else's limiting beliefs about what you want in your life stop you from going to get it. So I have a friend and wonderful friend they are, but every time I share with them something that is magnificent, something that is big and huge in my life, they start to limit it. They start to put it in their box. You know, they start to, you know, rationalize and logical it away. And so I've learned to dream and speak only what I believe to the point of being very shielded from anybody else's limiting beliefs and the hugeness of it. It truly, if your dream and your vision in your lifetime can be fulfilled, it's too small. 
And a lot of people think about your dream or your vision ending when you transition. Those people need to be cut out of your slumber parties, okay? Don't put, don't include them. They're not ready. Uh, the third secret to manifesting your dream is to actually see it. You got to visualize it. If you don't see it, then it's kind of just an idea. When you close your eyes... Take a deep breath and actually start to see it in its fullness. See it as big as it really is, no matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody does. Visualize it. Take some time. Good morning, Mako Riel. Good to see you. Haven't seen you here in a while. Uh, toss up those hearts, my love. Uh, you have to visualize it. You have to see it. You can't. You can't. It can come to pass, but it can come to pass quicker when you visualize it, okay? Your fourth amazing secret to manifesting your dreams, write it down. Write it down. There is scripture that supports, write the vision on the tablets and make it plain. You know why? Because let's go back to the other one that I said, believe. It's got to be bigger than when you transition because that scripture says, write the vision and make it plain so those who come to read it can take it and run with it so that it doesn't stop at you. It doesn't stop for whoever picks it up once you have written it can see it and say, let's continue full steam ahead on this vision that has been written down. It's great to believe it. It's great to have it in your head. It's great for you to see it so that you can know that it's coming. But when you write it, that opens up the windows. That stops the limitations. That stops where you're able to fulfill that dream. And it leaves the door open for everybody else to come in and partake in your vision, in your dream, the way you see it, the way you've written it. And they may not get it clearly, but they got it because you wrote it. Okay, and then the fifth secret to manifesting your dreams is to speak it. God dang it, if you don't say it, if we can't hear it, we can't see your visualization. We can't see your belief. Half of us ain't wrote the shit down. <laughs> we haven't wrote it. So if you skip the wrote it part, you better make darn sure well that you are saying it. That it is coming out of your mouth like it is Bible, like it's religion, like you nothing but death can keep you from it. Speak it, say it. Around here, every day, we not only give gratitudes, because that's the prescription to a lot of things that we're going through that are going on, but we say we're millionaires. We talk about the mansion. We speak about abundance. We speak about joy unspeakable and full of glory. We talk about happiness. We talk about unity. We speak the things that we want in our lives. Good men, good coffee, good food, good wine, whatever it is. We talk about it. Speak it. Say it. Look in the mirror. Tell it to yourself. Get it out loud. Get it out of your head. Get it out of your heart. Get it out of your mind out of your own visualization and speak it, say it today. Whatever it is that you are dreaming for, tell 10 people. I don't care if it's gotta be on social media, make sure you get 10 responses today on that 10 people heard you speak what it is that you want in your life. Don't skip that today. 10 people, let 10 people hear you say it. You got to practice saying it. Sometimes we think that everybody's a mind reader and they're going to get our shit straight out of our head and we go, we're going to fly, we're going to soar. Uh-uh, not so. Speak it today. Say it. Here's a bonus one. Love all that it, or love all that is until it becomes what you want. So right now, it may not be what you see. It may not be what you believe. It may not be what you wrote. It may not be what you said yet. So in the meantime, love what is. Don't take for granted what you have. Don't take for granted for today. Don't take for granted the people who are supporting you and believing in you. Those are not small things. Don't take for granted that car. It's not your, it's not your Rolls Royce yet, but it's yours. 
Don't take for granted that living arrangement. Don't take for granted that king size bed. And if it's not a king size bed, don't take for granted that sofa. And if it's not a sofa, don't take for granted that big fluffy comforter with that nice pillow that you're sleeping on. Love what is today until it becomes what you want, no matter what that is. And don't let anybody distract, deter, or turn you away from loving what is. That's called gratitude. And without it, God, source, spirit, universe, the monkey that you worship on the wall, whatever it is, will not see fit to give you that next thing until we know that you're content with where you are always, no matter where that is. Okay? No matter where you are. And last but not least, you got to know, I love you. I love you. It's Monday. This is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day, okay? See, Wednesday, Wednesday for New Word Wednesday because we be having good shit. We be having new words. And Faith Timony Friday, if you know somebody whose story of faith has changed or saved their lives, please invite them to come and share it with me so I can share it with you. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.